I can count the number of times I felt actual hunger on one hand, but there are 795 million people around the world that experience true hunger every day. The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization estimates that nearly one in nine people are suffering from chronic undernourishment. Children are the most visible victims of undernutrition. Children without the nourishment they need can get up to 160 days of illness each year. Malaria and the measles are two of the main diseases these children can get. Hunger can have many different meanings. It can mean the uneasy or painful sensation caused by want of food, craving appetite, and the exhaustion condition caused by undernourishment. There are many causes of world hunger, including poverty, harmful economic systems, conflict, and climate change. Poverty being the major cause. Poverty is caused by lack of resources. The World Bank has estimated that there were 1,345 million poor people in developing countries that live on $1.25 a day. But even with all these people living in poverty and hunger, progress has been made. There has been a reduction of more than 34% in global hunger since 1990. Climate change is increasingly viewed as a current and future cause of hunger and poverty. Increasing drought, flooding, and changing climate patterns, and a shift in crops and farming practices that may not be easily helped are three key issues. Another key issue is the future of industrialization and higher standards of living. The principal cause of climate change appears to be carbon dioxide, which is produced by high energy use with the industrialization and higher standards of living. Now you all may be thinking, doesn't the world produce enough food for everyone? The answer to that question is yes. World agriculture produces 17% more calories per person today than it did 30 years ago. This would be enough to provide everyone in the world with at least 2,720 kilocalories per person per day. With today's knowledge, tools, and policies combined with political will, we can solve the problem. The Food and Agricultural Organization set a goal at the 1996 World Food Summit. It was to half the number of undernourished people by 2015. The FAO was glad to announce that 38 countries across the world met their goals for 2015. There are many ways to solve this hunger issue. Sustainable food is one of them. Heifer International is an organization that helps transform agriculture by funding projects so people can provide food for themselves in a sustainable way. This is very helpful because ultimately, we would like to see many poor countries make their own food. Another solution is access to credit. Many organizations are helping people in poor countries to gain access to credit. Most of these credit loans are repaid and they have created many industries like farms that help create sustainable provision to people. Organizations such as Food for All have customers donate no more than $5 when checking out. One year, they raised over $60 million to fight world hunger. In conclusion, there are many problems with the world today, world hunger being a major problem. But with every problem comes a solution. World hunger is a problem and it will be solved. Good progress was made in reducing chronic hunger in the 1980s and the 1990s, but progress began to level off between 2000 and 2010. All of us, citizens, employers, corporate leaders and governments must work together to end hunger.